which part of Google My Business are the most in need of improvement? The insights, you know, that that is really right now is broken. This is the reason why we use analytics to corroborate what we're seeing in insights to make sure that we're actually getting really good data and to double check what Google My Business Insights is saying. If you're looking to find an agency that can really help you go through and 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 me and figure out your way through this forest of of yeah. tools and strategies that are digital marketing strategies for for, group, for SMBs, small and medium-sized businesses. If you're trying to make your way through the forest of, of opportunities and shiny objects, make yeah. sure that the company has an understanding of how to track results and that they've been doing it for more than a decade and that they, and that they are going to help you shift your culture so that it's not just a flash in the pan strategy that's just going to give you a pop in your results and not long term results, you know, that, that are really going to impact your business for the long term and a company that's going to help you improve the value of your company because of the tracking that they can, they can implement these strategies that are going to help actually increase the value of their company long term. If they, if they, if you want to sell your company, for example, and so that you can understand which of your marketing strategies is working. Yeah. And the only way to do that is with, it is with tools that allow you to not only identify, you know, the rankings that you're getting for certain keywords, but also the traffic you're getting from your posts um, from, you know, using Google analytics. And then finally, the phone calls. So there's three levels. I'd make sure that, that company has three levels of tracking. This is how important this is. I have a friend of mine who is one of our clients. He's been a client of mine for almost eight years. He wants to sell his business eventually. And he's been thinking about it. And um, I'm not going to, you know, say right. who it is because, you know, but anyway, bottom line is, is he's saying, look, Ryan, I know that we've tripled our business in the past four or five years. I want to identify out how many phone calls that we're getting from our Google My Business page and from all that you're doing with local search engine optimization, reputation management, and Google ads. And I want to separate out the number of phone calls I'm getting from each. Mm -hmm. So we said, okay, we can do that. We can separate out the number of calls you're getting from Google ads and the number of calls that you're getting from Google My Business. And as a result, from his organic and his and his ads, phone calls he's getting, we're able to help him to actually identify an additional premium that a comp that somebody else or a company would pay for his business because he's adding on a significant number of new business accounts just from the ongoing organic, which is local search engine optimization and reputation management and marketing and Google ads, which is paid ads, but we're still because of, because we're able to identify the number of phone calls and listen to those phone calls, we're able to say, okay, you're not just paying for the existing business for this business. You're paying for the ongoing marketing machine that we built for your business that mm -hmm. is going to give you an additional 100 new clients a month that's going to continue to grow the business in the future. You cannot say that if you can't quantify it. If you can quantify it and measure it, then it's got a value. So he is going to be able to get at least an additional million to $2 million for his company mm -hmm. because he's simply quantifying and able to quantify with phone calls actual yep. data that he can prove that is coming from the Google ads that we're running and from the organic traffic that's being generated from his Google My Business page and all the other traffic sources that we're, that we're tracking for him. That's huge. That yep. is a yep. game changer that nobody's talking about. And that also not only helps you with your long-term selling plan of your business, but also for you to identify where you put your money right now. Because if yeah. you don't know where you're actually getting your marketing results from, whether it's Facebook, because we track the phone calls that come from Facebook with CallRail. 
Yep. We track the phone calls that come from Google ads from Call Real. We yep. track the phone calls that come from Google My Business. We find out calls from directories that they didn't even know they had out there that their calls are coming from. Yeah. We did that for one of our clients and they were like, I didn't know that this is where our business was coming from. And they were like, yeah. I mean, what a great insight. And, and so where do you think they put more, put more of their time, energy, and effort yep. behind that specific marketing strategy? So it helps you better prioritize. Mm-hmm. Great. This is exactly what we're looking at. Prioritize where you put your marketing efforts yeah. um, or your money behind. Let us know what questions you have. We work with roofers. We work with personal injury attorneys. We've worked with, I mean, dentists, you know, you name it, immigration attorneys. On my business page or don't have one, but want one, we work with you. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. So, you know, that's one of the questions we get. So anyway, thanks. Thanks. <laughs>